There we go. Hello. Welcome back to Supermark Simulator. Hello, hello, everyone. YouTube, YouTube will not allow me to scroll up further. Fine, fine, be that way. Hey, Mildred. Hey, bud. What takes Rob? Oh, don't steal Rob's food. Poor moderator has to eat, you know, Bill. <laughs> hey, Gordon. And Steve. Hello. Darkness. Lexi, hi. And Jordan's here too. Hello, everyone. Sorry if I miss you upstairs. Uh, YouTube won't let me scroll up. It be like that. Let us load in. Boop, boop. So, I feel a bit rushed because I... <laughs> um, I was asked to play another game today. Well, I, well they offered and I accepted um but they didn't release their game until 40 minutes well no it was a half hour ago it was a bit after the hour so i had to do a quick test of it make sure the thumbnail was good and everything but it's it's scheduled it's up and running so that's coming after this one it looks a lot of fun it's a beach club simulator we'll be building a beach club with uh, man eating sharks and uh Lots of lots of people in bathing suits. It looked funny. I said, sure, why not? However, since I'll be away tomorrow and the day after, and then, you know, we have to update for gas station sim. And if everything goes according to plan, Friday is the release day of Amusement Park Simulator. I figured I'd still fit it in today. <laughs> You'll be my stalker. Well, you can you can join the hangout crew here. <laughs> you too can now stand outside my supermarket and smoke. Yes, Elishiva, watching from isolation at home. Well, that sucks. At least you can have the internet. And you're not staring at white walls, right? Look, we'll look from the bright side. I think I actually I I finished up yesterday with. Ordering everything, didn't I? Let ref let me refresh my memories. Are we are we letting this run empty? I think I have the whole <laughs> the whole thing stacked full. Uh, I'll see. If I need space, I can do so. Um, yeah, that problem solved itself. That's good. So last time I. Uh, Made it so things didn't take as much space in the store anymore, especially the meat and the, the deli wares, as I call them. Uh, the chicken, uh, everything in the freezer was halved, basically. Well, no, it literally, everything was halved. Uh, I also less yogurt and less butter, because the yogurt, the butter, the meats and the deli wares, they all have a lot more items on one shelf now. Add the restockers, being able to just restock everything during the day. I didn't need that much in the store anymore. And it was basically just the uh, same with the cleaning items. I had this all on one shelf per item. I, it wasn't necessary. You know, they're restocking everything pretty quickly. And it was just taking up space. And basically it was like I had a whole lot of money in my store. Just doing nothing. Because it wasn't... It wasn't selling, right? If I had 60 meat and I sold maybe 20, then there's 40 meat just gathering dust and holding money it set that I couldn't spend. So now that uh, I have that all sorted, I had enough money to buy that corner over there, which I did. And then we moved, well, I moved everything to the left. Well, that's not right, true. I added two more of one whole aisle here actually i think i had one shelf here but at least i added the rest then i shoveled everything to the left to fit exactly and now we have enough space here to not only give the give this path a bit more space than it had before 
but also more space for fridges and freezers. Everything that emptied out because I, you know, was a bit uh, more careful with space. It's all out here for the moment. So today the plan is to unlock uh, the ice cream and uh, veggies. That's the wrong page. Well, pay my bills? Yes, let's do that. Licenses. So yeah, green beans, uh, vanilla ice cream, another kind of ice cream, pizza, potato pops and veggies. But it's twelve and a half thousand. Well, we're, we're not doing badly, so we should be able to do that today. Even if it's not going to be a six hour stream. They need an RF gun? Well, what's that? Uh, unless you can't type it out. I'm not sure what that is. I'm trying to think. Is it like a Nerf gun or something? Hey, Nightmare. Hello, hello. So the next one up is probably... It doesn't really matter that much. But after that, it'll probably be booze since I have a lot of shelving space. Like this is going to be the, the booze aisle basically now. Um... Because the other one requires fridge place as well. And that would require me to buy more fridges probably. It depends a bit on how this next one's gonna go. But uh, yeah, I think we can just uh, open the store actually. I stocked everything last night. Somehow I doubt that Rob. Also shout out to Edgar who's his birthday today. But he's not here because he's on the plane to elsewhere. <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> and I have some coffee. This this song is weirdly quiet compared to the whole rest of the playlist. Oh well. I'm not messing with the sound because the rest of the next song is going to be super loud. He probably means a nerf gun or something. That would be funny, right? Just have them running outside here. Just shooting at each other. Harmlessly. Oh, a water gun. Just give him a water gun. That works. Well, we're going to get... I think we're going to get something like Seasons, right? Maybe they can have a water gun in the summer, like a Nerf gun in the winter, <laughs> something like that. There's a beep! <laughs> I am very expensive. Yes, buy all the meats. Oh, right. That's uh, funny enough. I took a screenshot yesterday and I was looking at it and they found the soap to be expensive. Well, I mean, there you go. We'll uh, put that one in the very cheap items. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> I'm sexy and I know it. There you go. I am going to need, if I buy more products, we have some space for freezer stuff over here, but I am going to need more, more racks. Absolutely. Deldrex, thank you very much for following. Uh, Def on the side as well. He did so while I was offline. I have no faith in you. Of course I do, but somehow I doubt there's a radio frequency scanner gun. Or is that exactly what you mean? Is that like uh, the, the hand scanner? Oh, 
Oh, so no, it's because Savvy said they need an RF gun. I, yeah, okay. But I need an RF gun. I need a hand scanner to order stuff. It would be so much easier. You just go, you just go to your storage, like empty rack, beep, 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 and then you, you know, it's all in the computer. You just click order. That would be great. Uh, there is going to be some cleaning in the game. I do know that. It's in the list. I don't know if they're going to be adding a janitor. The parmesan cheese is too expensive. Okay. Hey, Tony. I'm good, thank you. I'm going to have a double stream today. And then tomorrow I'm going to a concert. It's not that expensive, is it? It's 40 cents. Ah, I guess we'll always have some complaints, at least. And Wednesday we're going to see Dune 2, Return of the Worm. <laughs> I'll have more faith in you in the future, Rob. Uh, honestly, with the fourth cashier, I don't really have anything to do anymore. Uh, because it was the end of the stream, I simply refilled storage and then, you know, said goodbye. Usually I restock the store while, uh, while it's open. Yeah, we'll have to see how to set this up. Because we're going to get potato pops, veggies, and two ice cream. And something else. We'll see. First, we need the monies. I mean... Next. <laughs> That's one of the funniest things in the game. You can just, oh, let me just hop in here. I mean, I don't have to. But I am a lot faster than they are. Open a box, put it in storage shelves, will it take it first? Or the box closes on the shelves? I don't know if there's a logic to which box they pick up first, if there's multiple on it. Because I've seen times that I had three boxes with one pack of toilet paper in there. It was not handy. Sometimes you need to just step in and combine some boxes, otherwise it's... Uh, you you still run out despite having a full full rack. But yes, the boxes close automatically. You put it on the on the shelf if that's what you meant. Hey, it's till the end. Oop. One, two, ten. There, just jumping in a bit uh, to make things go faster. Hey, Keisha. So, oh, you mean Dune? Because Doom is another movie. I, I love that movie, by the way. Because I played just a complete sidetrack here. Distracted. Um, Doom was, you know, it was a game when I was <laughs> it was in primary school. 
Uh, we had it on one of the school computers, so sometimes people were allowed to play it. And it was, it was, you know, Doom 1, the newest of the news. <laughs> no, but you just reminded me uh, that later on I watched the Doom movie. And at a certain point, you know, because the game is in first person view, uh, at a certain point, the movie goes into first person view and it's absolutely epic. <laughs> The storyline didn't make a whole lot of sense at that point, to me. But it was a good movie. It was well, it was a fun movie. Let me put it that way. But yeah, I've watched Dune one, so we're gonna be uh, watching Dune two. The do <laughs> the worm boogaloo <laughs> in the IMAX, which I do like. Do movie not that great? Well, no, it's it's. I, I said it wrong. It's not a great movie, but it, that scene was very well done and it was a lot of fun. If you played the game, you know, it, it was a fun movie. Also, can't complain about Carl Urban, let's be honest here. <laughs> yeah, the, the, honestly, Rob, the rest of the movie didn't really st stick with me that much. You know, when I watched Lord of the Rings, I never realized that he was Eomir. We're really busy. Let's uh, go to the next day. Okay, so that was exactly the two complaints I caught. Not that bad. Uh, Kilomol and eggs. So which one is the Kilomol cleaner? Is that this one? Nope. Up. Ah, this one. Always oh, the last one. Uh, let me see. That is 80. No, 80. So. And the X. Hey, Auntie. Uh, it's always a bit tricky when they're still refilling. You just don't know which box they're holding. There's no order to it at all. I'll go help. Boop, boop. Oh no. Of course, that one was already full. Yogurt? Yep. <laughs> you guys need to hurry up a bit. Come on. Well, let's see. Is there anything that needs to be filling in the freezer? That looks pretty full. Okay, so let's order for the freezer then. Let's pay our bills. Let's at least start with something. Let's see. Uh, yeah, just three chickens. Is this is the chicken full? Yeah, it is full. Okay. Okay, you guys done? Yes, perfect. Wait. I thought for a second he looked the same as them. 
But he just had on a blue suit. Okay, they're done. Mooi. Then, nice. Then we can start ordering. Let me check on the sushi, because last time... No, we're fine. I had one time that the shelves were almost empty, despite having ordered the day before. Uh, we need the green beer. Orange juice and blue water. It's hard to see on that little label. I'm at an uneven number, it's annoying. Um, yeah, see if two boxes with one. There you go. Now we're even again. Okay, we got the orange juice, got the water, so we need a red cola and green soda. There you go. Hey, Carl. Only seen one person hit 60 customers. I think I, I've hit like 58 or something at most. I had honestly expected to, uh, to get more with the two space upgrades I bought, but I didn't. So that was a little disappointing. I'm really... Th should I lower these down to... to one fridge? problem being of course that I have like a whole bunch of this stuff lying about and I can't always put it on the floor yeah it's fine we'll do it later let's buy a moussaka then yeah that that not being able to put items on the on the floor is really annoying makes it impossible to take things out of storage to uh, maybe change things around. Okay, that was the freezer and fridge. Let's do the cleaning stuff. <laughs> A bad sheep collector. Uh, oh, sorry, Tony. That was actually an answer to your question. Um, they still only have 50 customers. For me, this, the amount of customers gone up every time I... Well, not every time, it is every couple of space upgrades. So... But if that doesn't happen, we're not really gonna make more money, are we? Hmm. Well, we'll see how it goes. Oh, uh, yeah, right. Cleaning stuff. Okay, I need one of each bleach. Shampoo. One, one, shampoo. Right? Yes. Uh, dish soap. And we're gonna need... Well, that's only one. So let's do four. One, two, three, four. And the dish soap. Testing out front, still some coffee is still too much. <laughs> you bastard. We have the best coffee in town, it is not too much. Okay, let me grab some of these big boxes, all toilet paper and chicken most likely. Slay Baddy, thank you very much for following. Welcome, welcome. I'm just 
tossing my stuff around. All right, everybody, in. There you go. <laughs> Let's see, this is chicken. I can throw here. Why not? There you go. <laughs> the rules for throw are sometimes a bit odd. There you go. And we have one extra. God, no. Fine. You could. Sit over there, it's fine. I can remove that again later. It's just an empty shelf anyway. Honestly, that's the only bug that really bothered me, is the thing that I just... I can't just put a box down where I want to, which is, of course, silly. Now, Steve, I... I don't think that's a good thing though. Really, you should... Like, I expect like four more customers every two, three space upgrades. Well, I guess, yeah. Yeah, two or three. And I, they probably limited it because people with lesser computers or just, you know, less powerful computers, that's a better way to put it. They wouldn't be able to handle a lot of customers, right? But... We need to make more profit. How else are we going to afford things for... Uh, what was the most expensive one again? It was like ridiculous. Um, let me see. The, it's the, grow, the last growth update is 160,000 or is it 1.6 million? I can't see. Hold on then. $160,000. And the last license is $65,000. How the hell are we going to do that if we're not making more profits? I'm not going to make that if I keep earning 2k a day. <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay, let's sort this a little. Drink goes over there as well. Matthew, please keep it in uh, English. That way everyone can understand each other. But hello. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh. The hell? The game froze. Hmm. No, I don't see anything wrong. Yeah, there's a lot of boxes. And did you go over there?
Okay, that's the drinks. Oh. Get everything? Yes. Okay, so we can do the normal shelving now. Let us see. Um, dark coffee and milk. Oh, well, no, it's, it's actually, it's medium roast. And uh, I saw that we needed a keg of beer. We also need a six pack. And brown and powdered sugar. Powdered, brown. Beer. Hey, Jean. It's snowing? Really? <laughs> Slots are evil. Yes, they are. They very much are. Uh, here it's actually uh, warming up quite a bit. Let's see. Chocolate, peanut and bread. Chocolate. There you go. What do we got over here? Not a lot, just the pasta. Okay, last shelf. I'm still full up on potatoes. Only pepper? Hmm. How much do we need? Ah, uh, yeah, we do need the pepper. Okay, well, anything... Could buy, like, one box of them. But we're low on. Fill up that order a little bit. Honey. Oh yeah, the dishwasher tablets. Oh, candy. Very low as well. beer I think yes there you go maybe a bit overkill but uh, it's gonna save us orders later so it's all good well, I'm trying not to fill up my storage too much I really don't want more than one full box per product. And even that, I'm running, I, I let it run down mostly, and now it just filled up my order a bit. But I, I let it down, run down to zero, and then I order. And But I ordered two boxes, so that never, you know, some products sell more than one box per day. So that way, you never run out of products. Well, I mean, toilet paper and uh, uh, potatoes and, you know, the uh, chicken. I keep a special eye on those. <laughs> well, I don't want it too full because we're going to have to add more items. And I, it's already it seems pretty full. I don't know how we're going to add a lot more shelves for all the new items in the future, really. It's 
Yeah, I try not to do that, Gibbles, simply because, um, well, it, it does mean you can order a product less often. In the end, you still need to order, order just as much. But you have a lot of stock in your storage that's not earning you money. Basically, you're, you're storing money. So I'm trying not to do that. Especially if you look at something like meat. So that can hold, what, six boxes? That's a lot of money you have on your shelf right there. That you can't spend on, you know, upgrades. Oh uh, yeah, that's there as well. I think most items we can just shoot on. Nope, not this one. Yeah, I don't do that either, buying in bulk when the prices go down, because they just stay down. The, you know, the, the going up and down of pricing is basically just random. It's not like it goes down and then up again, making the investment of buying a whole bunch of them worth it. Coffee. Coffee for Gibbles. Nope. So if it was the case that, uh, you know, the, the price changes happened for a day or maybe two days. Oh, accidentally hit the PC there. Then I would definitely stock up, yes. But they don't. They just lower or raise and then stay that way. Um. Coffee black. Yeah, we have all the coffee in the world. Here you go. Yeah, we got the dark, dark roast, medium roast, and light roast. And sugar and milk. Uh, would it not give you a better oversight of what you, what sells a lot? Ooh. Well, it's already showing me what I have in store. Because everything I have in store is in storage. Um, as soon as the storage rack is empty, I know that the shelf is starting to empty out. Right? It's not empty. Usually not even close. It's just starting to... I should have opened the store before. I'm sorry, I forgot. I was just busy chatting with you all. Uh, however... There's no rhyme and reason to how much we sell of an item. Uh, uh. Kelly, thank you very much for subscribing. So some days I have had a day that this was basically empty. And the boxes on the, on the shelf were empty. I sold that much sushi. The, 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 the couple of days after that, I barely sold any. The toilet paper too, I've had a couple of days where not a single box on the on the storage was emptied and then suddenly a day that the whole storage was empty there's no rhyme or reason to it so i just keep enough <clears throat> keep enough in the storage for everything that i can last a day and so far it's working very well i even have too much 
It's also why I'm letting it run down to, to zero in storage. It's really random. So it's not like a reality where, you know, let's say you have two exact same supermarkets, but in a different neighborhood. They would sell different products more, depending on, you know, who lives there. Are there a lot of children living in that neighborhood? That's going to make a big difference, you know, but here it's just really random. Yes. I'm still not... I'm, I've actually been thinking about how it's programmed, how much people buy. I feel like there's a, a roll of dice. So someone grabs a product and then the computer system is calculating, is she grabbing another one of the same product? Yes or no? Um, then what is she rolling? What's, what's she grabbing next? Then, you know, roll the dice. She's grabbing that. How, is she grabbing more of the product? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? And then, she, you know, she's taking four of one product. But I don't know, right? <laughs> That's just the way I see it. Because it's so random. Really? The chicken? You're, you're, you're a whiny ass. It's not expensive at all. Besides, I've never seen anyone else complain about the chicken. You can suck some raw chicken. Yes. Here's the thing. With products like the chicken, where you have four in a box and four on the shelf, or the toilet paper, where you have four in a box and two on the sh Basically, well, four on the shelf, I guess, two on a block. Same with potatoes. They feel like they're going really fast because there's so little on your shelf. But in the end, if you compare them to other products, they're probably not going any faster. You're not selling any more. It just feels that way because you need a lot more boxes. Because you have four box, four chickens in a box, but you have 32 steaks in a box. For if you sell, so if you sell the same amount, you need to buy eight more boxes. Did I say, yeah, eight more boxes of chicken that you need to buy of steak. So it gives you the wrong idea, right? Uh, the same with the sodas, where all the drinks are, I think, how many is in the box? Um, I think 24, if I'm not mistaken, except the green soda, the green soda is 12. So it feels like you need to order a lot more green soda than the rest, but the box just empties faster. Everybody very busy. Do we not have any more tuna? No, we do not. Let me see if I can empty this box. Yes. No, no, come back. Buy some toilet paper. to it or are you gonna refill it no he's refilling the other one. Oh, oh! I missed yeah, you do need to be careful with the labels place a label somewhere by accident uh, they will fill it up immediately <laughs> I had some trouble with that yesterday yeah with the restockers I don't need that many uh, with that much in the store anymore I 
I do think that they should be able to wait with certain products refilling it. It would be great if there was like, I think they're working with a percentage and it's a pretty high percentage. So like when shelf is 80% full is restock. However, if there's like 40 items still in the store, that shouldn't be a priority. Some kind of priority system would be great because really they're, they're restocking everything five times per day when it's really not necessary. They're restocking too early. Yeah, the butter yogurt thing was weird. Hey, Alex. Yeah, I unlocked my fort yesterday as well. I mean, I'm faster, but it, uh, it saves me a lot of effort <laughs> and pain in my hands. Oh yeah, it took me a long time to get the fourth. Those 1750 checkouts. And we're almost up to 50 likes. Thanks everyone. Oh, let me take a drink while we wait for everyone to wrap up here. We're a little close still to the 1250... Uh, uh, sorry, 12,500 that we need for the upgrade. Gonna run it at least one more day. At this point, we're making pretty good money, so I don't really want to take a loan out. It's just gonna cost us money. the steering wheel for your autistic son gonna get it tomorrow oh that sounds great i hope he likes it what uh, what game will he be playing with it tony says i'm guessing 56 customers today hmm. yeah might be yeah so i think if they They'd restock a little less often. And on the other hand... I guess they... Um, I'm sorry, what I wanted to say was if they restock a little less often... Well, you can still... I mean, there's space, no? Um, they wouldn't be busy for so long in the evening. However, I realized as I said that, that if you're, you know, at the start of the game, that might actually be really handy. Because you have so little space. If you add a restocker at that point, he would come out every few seconds to restock something. Fifty-nine customers on the PS4. Don't know yet. Yeah, I can't really. Uh, rec <laughs> oh, wow, twelve hundred really. Yeah, we did buy a lot of stuff yesterday. That's true. Oh God, someone write this down: ketchup, orange juice, pasta, and cheese. I write it down. Ketchup, orange juice. Pasta and Parmesan. There you go. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> so, Parmesan cheese. Nineteen. 
Wow, my eyes are bothering me. I can barely read all that. Those uh, those little market price numbers. Let me sit, sit up straight. I can see it better. There you go. Uh, what else? I got it written down now. Uh, right, orange juice. It's over here. Uh, sorry, no, that's uh, 10. There you go. So, ketchup and pasta. Where did I hide the pasta? Here? No. There's the ketchup, though. I mixed them up. Five is 20 cents, so that's 80. And then pasta must be this one. Uh, no, oh, maybe maybe I'm mistaken. Is it this one? No, that one's good. One moment, it's this one, it's the spaghetti. Uh, 40 cents is 620. Okay, delete this. Make it small again. I can see. <laughs> Chris, thank you very much for subscribing. Sorry, I had it maxed out. EBT smoked. You like this, how the store is uh, placed? Well, thank you. Pataki uh, found the evil Freya. <laughs> uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, can't you just play it single player, Gibbles? I mean, you don't have to install mod. I thought there was a... Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I think I have it, but I had never uh, never played it. I just haven't gotten to it. But I think there's a separate multiplayer version of it. So the other one must be single player. Logic tells me. You gotta sneeze. Up to that on time. Perfect. All right, we need fries. We don't need chicken. See, the chicken yesterday was completely empty. We we sold at least. 12 chickens or maybe a little less like 10 chickens and now we sold maybe one or two no can't because there's three three four four so we we only sold one at the most oh to pass the game that's a good one i'll remember that steve i, I might forget I might not get it on time, but that's a, that is a good one. Okay, so we need fries. So that's exactly what I mean with, you know, it being so terribly random. I just I just didn't sell chicken yesterday. Okay, tuna and small eggs. Um, red soda and ham pastries. That's full. I think it's a ham pastry. It's the blue box. Yes. No, it's the sorry. It's the galette. This is the ham pastry. So we need the galette. Ah, uh, yeah. The the meat boxes are just very full. Uh, meat. Okay, hummus. And cheese. We need mozzarella and mimolette. Mm. 
Okay, we need one of that cleaner. And boom. one yeah we just need one green toilet paper that also goes up and down a lot yeah you can see it in the market and while when you start the game that's fine uh, at this point we're gonna have so many products it takes a while to search them all out if you it's easier to catch them at the start of the day and write them down than trying to search the markets. Catch, ma'am. Hey, Radiant. I mean, especially if, uh, if we're going to unlock more items. I would like to see some more... Um split up some products so right now i do freezer fridge cleaning and the rest but yeah how would you how could we split it up more hmm because you could split it up to drinks we could do that. But the problem is that you can't select two filters. So you can't set it to like shelf drinks, which is what I would want to do. There's no cleaning items in the fridge, so that really doesn't matter. But there are a lot of drinks in the fridge. Well, actually, oh no, the only drink we have on the shelf is just the milk. So there's no use in that. That's why I don't use it. Uh, there's going to be books uh, that will be uh, unlocked later on. So that's a non-food item at least. I guess they could sort it on like alcoholic drinks. That would help, especially later on when you have a couple of uh, licenses with booze. This way. Uh, no, wait. I was like, okay, we opened the store, but no, we, we don't have uh, enough in order yet. More cheese. Hey, Larry. I see you found me. Uh, some more non-food items would be fun, yes. But keep in mind that we do st we start out like a, a bodega, you know, a little hole-in-the-wall supermarket with the, with the very basics. Then we add, you know, right now we're pretty much a normal supermarket, maybe a little small, small site. And we're going towards a big German supermarket, I guess. <laughs> no, it's fine, Larry. I just made a joke of it. But the pun was very much intended. Because, yeah, that happens. Uh, yeah, I got all the cleaning stuff, so let's put it back on shelf.
All right, dark coffee. Oh, that's it. <laughs> I guess this is... Oh, well, there it is. I don't even have to search. I guess this is going to be a bit of a low ordering day. Uh, we need rice and honey crisp, uh, honey cereal, sorry. There you go. Potatoes. Yeah, blue flour and hot sauce, that's it. Uh, just to get that order full, let's see what we could... Uh... Yeah, that one's still in the way. Well, we don't need to get it full, just two items would push it to the max that we can order for four bucks. Some chicken legs? Yeah, why not? There you go. Okay, now I'm gonna open the store while we put all of this in. What about the six pack beer? Now we got uh, two boxes there. No worries. Be happy. <laughs> hey, Rose. it all in there. There we go. Where's the rest of the rice? No, this is chicken. ever have that that you just you know uh, somewhere on the interwebs doesn't matter the, the tiktok youtube uh, shorts uh, whatever and you run into something and then suddenly it's like oh that's nice and you find yourself watching like 20 little videos on it i had that yesterday i came across a bird rescue uh, well woman she rescued birds like uh, p mostly parrots <clears throat> it was great <laughs> it's very interesting uh it is level 57 now we just just tipped over Ladies left. some screenshots in that place mm. 
He still needs a new shirt. Probably look better if I take screenshots when uh, we have that whole area set up. It is running low, isn't it? The six pack. Oh, I think he. Uh, no, he doesn't. I guess none of them ran so low that it activated the restockers. There you go. Oh yes! Yes, the six pack is a shelf item. Only the loose bottles are... Sorry, it's, yeah, it's a shelf item. Only the loose bottles are actually in the fridge. Oh. Quickly remove that before they arrive. To be a bit more careful. I guess if a box has been used by a restocker, that's the point you can't put it down again. I'm not sure. That's what it looks like right now. tempted by a weird video of a medical nature and now you're getting too many suggestions yeah it, it's it's really a new thing isn't it it was a stream about a grocery store yeah but it is really a very new thing that when you watch something like maybe something catches your attention about a certain subject suddenly you get bombarded by things that are connected to it or are the same subject so we're actually reached the point of the internet where curiosity is punished and you should stick to what really interests you otherwise you're gonna get uh, lost on tiktok and you don't want to end up on the wrong side of tiktok <laughs> what if you end up in book talk no <laughs> I swear, one of the funniest things I've ever seen, it was, uh, it was a, a, a guy on TikTok, he makes funny videos, but he did one with suspenders, and he had suspenders on, and apparently people went bonkers over it, and he ended up, his videos ended up on, you don't want to know, Rose, I'm talking about really, really dark, not funny, haha, -ha dark, oh my god, get me the fuck out of here, dark. Um... But to finish the story, he, he had he did his suspenders up and well the ladies went wild. He ended up on book talk and he made videos about how he did not understand how he got there. And people tried to explain it to him, but because he was like an old-fashioned book character, I guess. It was just See now yesterday we didn't sell any potatoes or chickens, now we're out. There's really no rhyme or reason. But yeah, TikTok is very funny and really, it's really important to avoid what you don't like. Because otherwise you will see more. Jesus, I'm going to have to do an extra order of this tomorrow. I can't right now, of course. Um, at least, well, one, two, three, six, yeah, eight. But it's two extra boxes plus the storage. I'll check it though when they're done. Just toilet. Oh my god, they actually have. I can't put this one down, can I? No. Okay. 
only way to solve this is just... And hope they they take the boxes. Well, I can I can quickly do one. They're busy. Okay, did you uh, take an empty? Yeah, I took the one with two. Perfect. It means you can go up there. You can empty. There you go. We combine it a bit. Here, three boxes with one. Gotta fit it together a bit. The nine circles of TikTok, yeah. It'd be like that a bit. I tried to actually explain that to uh, to Osaka one time because he doesn't like TikTok. I'm like, yeah, but you're watching shorts. Why don't you like it? But okay, I can't get this one in. Because he, he used he used another one. Well, this is already better than three times one. <laughs> no, but uh, so basically you you get what you watch, right? That makes it dangerous. Because if you just, if you get something weird and you're like, oh, what's this? And you watch it, you suddenly get a hundred times more of it. Or the biggest joke of all when a certain song is used and it goes viral and everyone starts using the same song under all the content and it gets linked by song it's uh solana i don't know what that is is that like solar energy I mean, it starts with Soul. I didn't think that was the weirdest. It, it makes money and the name starts with Soul. I didn't think that's the weirdest assumption to make. Hey, South Bay. Yeah, almost. Well, actually, we made a lot of money today. I'm just... Since I can't order with them stocking the store anyway. Still only 55 customers. I forgot to pay... Uh, oh, yeah. Huh. It works! <laughs> it works. Okay, what do we have? Uh, peanut butter. Uh, elbow. Uh, a cleaner. And tuna. But it's... It's Kilomol cleaner. I don't know which one that is. It's always a gamble with this, uh, cause you can't see the, the name here. Oh, this one went back up again. Well, I guess this time is the first time that I say, okay, I should have bought this one after it went down. But it's really the first time that I noticed it. Okay, cleaner. Um, elbow pasta? No, peanut butter too, here. On the way. Uh, actually, this is going over to seven. Seven? And the tuna is in the fridge, of course. Nope. Okay. Like three I can remember. Four gets difficult, so I just write it down. There we go. Oh, Solana. Yeah, of course. No, Sol. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, it didn't click. That was far so far off subject that it didn't click for me. Uh, yeah, I did see that a lot of them uh, were going up. Not that I have... Like, not that I'm making money with it, but... 
it's just a weird system, isn't it? Hey, Kiwi. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me see. Oh, Missy's dreaming. It's twitching. Uh, Missy and Freya are sleeping next to me on the blanket and uh, Max took over Osaka's chair. Uh, let me check the bills. I'm debating whether to buy the license today or should we wait one more day? How much do we spend about per day? I think we can afford it. Yeah, um, well, actually, yeah, the thing is, if I do, I need, I'm sorry, I'm going to wait one more day for the reason that if I buy it, I need both put it on the shelves and put it in the storage. That means I need to buy a lot of it. And after that, I wouldn't have any money left over to fill up the store. And I see that we're pretty low on some items. So let me prioritize the store and we can get it uh, probably tomorrow because let me check the big items sorry the potatoes are here nowadays yeah we needed two boxes extra of potatoes chicken no the chicken is good let me throw in those orders first so one two three chicken Potatoes. One, two. Extra. One, two, three for storage. Yes. Okay. Toilet paper. One of each will do. Then we have the, the big items stocked again. And that's exactly ten. I do wish it would fall towards me. That would be nice. <laughs> or just fall down here. To down the stairs. Yeah, the, this uh, this license is going to be $12,500. So that would leave me... Well, right now with 3000 That's barely enough to get the new product stocked. Likely. I'm not entirely sure how expensive they are, but I, it needs a lot. to put more more potatoes on the shelf though I guess this colleague is working on that oh there he goes there you go because he could fit two boxes on there it shouldn't be a problem I'll check him in a bit all right now that we got that sorted two more members for giveaway yes uh, I can't see right now how we're doing on Twitch. Unfortunately, I can't set my goal to the top. No. And we got 75 likes. Well on our way to 100. Thank you, everyone. Um... I don't think there's a way to do it. Yeah, do it on your TV. Yeah, we're getting close, Rob. I already uh, <clears throat> got some keys ready for some nice giveaways when I reach the 10k. I also filled up my uh, the keys I have for the giveaways. Obviously, the key the keys to give away for the 10k are well. I can't say if they're better games, but they're definitely more well-known and, you know, bigger in general. 
Hey, Doug. You need to refresh, Jean, to be able to see the new count. That's, uh... Hey, Chris. Get a like from you, too. Thank you very much. Every single interaction helps. Always. Because that's how YouTube works. Um... Let me add a hand soap just to even this number out. Since I order everything per two except for these big boxes, I like to fill it up to an even number. Yeah. Then we get the freezer. So we got the chicken done. Uh, red pizza. Is that which pizza is that? That's the red pizza. She's the cheddar. There you go. Yeah, that's that's it, right? Yeah. For the freezer. Rich. Oh yeah, we're gonna need to, we didn't have to order that much yesterday. We do need to order a lot today. <laughs> oh, but then you have ads. Oh god. Well, I have 83 likes now. There, now you don't need to refresh. It's one of those keys to Rob's house. No, he doesn't actually live on the internet, no matter how much we like to believe that. Okay, all the cheese except for mozzarella. No, except for mozzarella. <laughs> Very enthusiastically kept on clicking there. Um, lasagna and ham pastry. This is going to be an expensive ordering day. That's a shame. We'll see how it goes. Drinks looking good. Uh, we need apple juice and big eggs. Uh, Max just got kicked off the chair and now he's uh, in the middle of M Missy and Freya. Everyone awake. Here, scratch. Oh. Missy does like her chin scratches. Um, yeah, because we, we got the cleaning done. Okay. Let me grab these. Poor Max. Nah. He's on the blankie. He's fine. Rob C lives in a secret bunker with all the mystery keys. <laughs> um. So. The, the meats in general. Which one is that? Is that the veal and steak? Because. The veal is here, 750. The steak is four. Three. Wow, the chicken's only 160. But yeah, the, the veal is still a good profit. However, they do require a big investment. Because one box is a couple of hundred bucks. On the upside, right now they require there's more items that you can place on one stack, so they require less fridge space to keep up with it, which is good. All right, Jean, have a good night. There was an update. I thought they already. Uh, I thought they released like an event a while back. I haven't played it in a while. Too busy with this one.
And the battle starts. <laughs> More lasagna. Yeah, it, I do think that, especially at the start, the, the worst license is probably the soda. Where you got like a whole bunch of sodas because they require, a, you know, they're big boxes. They require a lot of space in the fridge. So, you know, electricity costs go up. And those barely give you any profits. But they also don't require a big investment. So it's not a bad thing to have them. But at the start... Unless you're standing on top of it to keep refilling and putting them all in one fridge. Which I guess you could do. Especially if you have a restocker. Uh, right, the hand soap. Then this must be the other pizza. So we have everything double. And cheese, there we go. Maybe, maybe he did, Steve. Yeah, I don't know, Kiwi. I don't know what uh, what exactly that update is then. Because I saw one a while back, there was uh, like an event. They were doing maintenance today. Let's see that. Hey, Jake. No, no, no need to yell, darling. You love you love Supermarket Simulator. Good. <laughs> Let's order some coffee. Um. Wow, the first time we don't need to order milk. Oh yeah. Hold on. It's uh. Oh well, I can just put this one away. Do I need to save you? I can. There. Oh, hold on. Let me just put some beer. Um, something needs like one, one box. Oh, why not? Do the tea. There you go. At least we got our order full. Okay, sugars? No, nothing. Huh, okay, nothing. Aha, cereal. Chocolate and crispy. And then over here. Uh, blue, red, and mashed. Blue, red, mashed potato. And the last shelf, uh, ketchup and green oil. Uh, two spots left in that order. Let me get some ice cream and some pizza. Wait, that's freezer, sorry. Okay. Yeah, see, we have exactly enough to buy the license, but not enough to fill our, you know, fill the shelves and the storage for those products. 
So I'm not buying it yet because otherwise we get complaints for people who can't find set products. Perfect shop management, full shelves and full storage. That's not true. The goal for any supermarket will always be to have as little in storage without the shelves going empty. And while in a normal store, that means predictions of how much you're going to sell that week. Here, we just have to keep enough in storage to at least cover a day. You know, be able to catch a peak of sale on a product. Which so far has gone very well. I'll, I'll check Kiwi, but yeah, let's be honest here. I, I really like Skull and Bones, but it just didn't do that well on the channel. And after I streamed the game for six hours, I'm not always up to more gaming. <laughs> it depends a little bit. Uh, yeah, just this, right? Let's open up the store. Yeah, I had a couple of expensive items that I had to buy today, but I think we'll be good for tomorrow. Unless, like, the entire meat shelf and all, the, all of these run out, then I might get in trouble. Those are the, that's the expensive corner, basically, the fridge corner. Larry with the 199 and the number one sticker. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Have some coffee on me. <laughs> uh, Fuzzy says details, details of what we say in Poland. Oita, oita. I don't know what that means. I hope it's nothing bad. Otherwise, I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. Well, apparently you figured it out, Larry. Uh, Streamlabs, uh, the, the link to my PayPal, of course, is also an option. However, I haven't been able to set it up that it accepts credit cards yet. I need to look at that again. I couldn't connect my account to it. Which is a shame. Uh, yeah, ice cream over there. Yeah, doing it through the Streamlab links, it just means it goes straight to my PayPal and YouTube doesn't take... Uh, your cut. But both work. And both are much appreciated. Oh, it's going fast with the cleaning items there. Some more coffee. All right. <laughs> Watch out, Duros. I might, I might get banned. <laughs> no, no words. Yeah. Oh, there are no. They're not cursing words. Okay. <laughs> That's good to know. I doubt it. I don't even know who the CEO is. I mean. 
the shop, uh, uh, the, the, the lady in the shop is still called Susan for a reason, you know. She was always looking at her phone. It's a real shame they removed that phone. I thought it was very funny. Look at everyone hard at work while I'm having a drink. Not that kind of drink. Ah, him. Okay. Well, now you got him alerted, Rob. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck. There you go. Oh. Yeah, there's a bunch of products hanging out there. I don't know why some products get filled when it's basically full and some are like maybe half full and still not restocked. Let's see if we can... Uh Put this one in the shelf. There you go. Just helping out so it doesn't, you know, last so long in the evening. Anything else? Um. Yeah, it's not much use refilling the soda and such. Hmm. It's too expensive. That's true, it's, it's pretty expensive. Ooh, seven more likes for the hundred. Who's gonna be the hundred like? <laughs> mm, I don't feel like we're making a whole bunch of money today. Unless some of the biggest sales are still coming. Next! <laughs> Just jumping in for a moment. Oh, two more. all gonna stand there and a hundred whoop thank you very much <laughs> the medium X are uh, pretty low. Hold on, do I need to order an extra box of that? Because. Yeah, I do.
Oh yeah, we can type now. I <laughs> keep forgetting it. There you go. Yeah, I just have a lot less to do now that we got the fourth cashier. I guess we... Uh, fold this baby up again. And just open a little earlier now. I'm still trying to learn how to time it best. Where's, where's the fourth one? Oh, there you are. He was the only one out of sync. Out of sync. Oh. Only two complaints. Yeah, we got very little profit today because I had to buy such expensive things. Is that this one? Yes. Uh, there you go. We made so little profit. It's it's probably gonna be tight. I take it now. Well, I mean, we could just keep the orders to one box and then catch up in the coming days. Let's see. So that's going to be the green beans and vanilla ice cream. There you go. So then, of course, the question is going to be which one do you guys want to see next? Or, well, really, I should just do the, the booze. <laughs> yeah, no, I need to. I have so much shelf space, but not so much fridge space. All right. So we got them. Let us see. Freezer, 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 freezer. Okay, they're all in the freezer. Uh, so that's six items. Okay, let's start with one of each and see how we're gonna put this. That way I also immediately know how much is in one box. Uh, where do I have my freezers? Here. Other way around. There you go. They keep wa walking in my view. Uh, three, four, five spaces. So we're gonna need to put down one more. Oh, we can do that the same way as we had before. There you go. Um, yeah, that's that's even. All right, let me see. What's what? Okay, so we got potatoes. Now the question is, do we want the potatoes with the veggies or do we want them with the fries? Mediterranean veggie mix. This is pizza. That's obviously going to go next to the pizza there. You know, I feel like the the header should probably be the uh, actually. Oh no, this is the same type of ice cream as that one. On oh, here, the green beans. 
Okay, hold up. Um, I say we do the... Yeah, so pizza, pizza, pizza. Big Tony. I need to move those ice creams. To do that, though, I need to... Oh, no. God damn it. Um, okay, yeah. Here's what I'm gonna do. There. Um, then this one goes next to that. There you go. This is the same type of, you know... There you go. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's my empty box. Hold on. I was like, what's that? But that's. Okay, so then we can do the potatoes next to the fries. Okay, but this one doesn't have any leftovers. That means we're gonna need to buy at least one more box of that. So we'll do the other ice cream here since then it's at least next to the other ice creams. And then this side's basically gonna be the no, the, the healthy, normal cooking side, I guess you could call it. And the other side is the, the snack side. Well, I guess the potatoes could belong to either side. Potatoes with the veggies? I put the veggies with the veggies. But maybe in the future we'll get more. You're, you're right, it doesn't really fit with the fries. But it's better than with the crab sticks, I guess. There you go. Okay, so... Um, let me see. Because we got spots for the ice cream. Let me see here. Yeah, we got the two new ice creams. We got the new pizza. And that's it. So what do we need to order extra to get a shelf spot? The veggies? And the potatoes. And then we need to restart the music. Uh, yeah, just veggies and potatoes. Alright. So, potatoes, veggie, and green beans. Um, yeah, no, leave, uh, leave it to that. If I can afford it, I'll buy more. But for now... Uh, hey, Chrissy! For now, I'll leave it to that. that. Price it. Yes, thank you. <laughs> it's been a while since I had an, uh, a new license. So thank you for reminding me of that. Oh, hold on. Got a whole bunch of cat hair there. Away with the... Um, oh, wait. It's, it says... Uh, so that's going to be 10. And then 40 cents. So that's 10.20. And potatoes. Wow, those are some expensive, expensive taters. Above 10, that's 50 cents up, so that's 80. Then we got our po 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 po. Well, it's one of those push ice creams. And this is the. This, it's called. I think this is called the vanilla ice cream, but it's vanilla and strawberry. Mm. 
Uh, no, sorry, it needs to be 40. There you go. And then the green beans are quite cheap. Uh, that's everything price. I actually didn't pay attention to profit. 270, 150. Wow, it's not good, is it? Three. Like, a good profit for me would be above... Oh, that, that's the price. Four. Okay, that's doable. But really, above five is a good profit. But it does depend on how expensive something is. Dip the crab sticks in the ice cream. I don't know. Potatoes are with your uh, with the fries in your store. I'm now trying to think. Do we have potatoes like whole potatoes or something that's not f supposed to be fried? Do we have that in the freezer? I mean, we have, you know, ready-made meals you could put in the microwave or in the oven that holds potatoes. Uh, also in the fridge, but no, we don't really have something like this. Well, they're potato pops. They're not actually whole potatoes. So you would fry them. So they, yes, they belong with the fries. And yes, we do have those. Um, we have, in the Netherlands, that we ate a lot of potatoes. Oh. We, 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 my, my, me personally, I don't eat a whole lot of potatoes. I do like some fries on occasion, but maybe some baked potatoes, but generally not boiled potatoes. But it is a staple of Dutch cuisine as, as, as far as that goes. And, uh, we have like an, all supermarkets will have an entire shelf full of ready to cook potatoes something so just in the fridge you have um pre-boiled potatoes hey cypher so you have like the, the very tiny we call them krieltjes they're very tiny tiny potatoes they're just peeled and pre-boiled you have fries you have them in all sizes and shapes you have different sizes of bags there's like if you want potatoes you, you come over here basically <laughs> How's the rest of the freezer doing? It actually looks like it's completely full. That means we don't need anything from that. Let's look at the fridge. Uh, big sushi. All right, let me check. Need extra? No, just for storage. That is pricey, but we do need it. Um, No, I think we're good. I'm debating whether to buy one box or two, but I think we're okay. Right, we needed the eggs because we were all out of them. Well, one empty shelf. One, two, three of that. Okay, we need the black goo and pink soda. So look for soda. And pink. Yeah, this is all. Well, that, there's enough on the shelf that I don't worry about if there's one, only one item in storage. Um, we need mozzarella and comté. And that's the fridge done. Uh, did I check the... No, I haven't checked the cleaning stuff yet, have I? Um, yeah. Bleach. Bleach. No, it's not that much. Let me finish the cleaning stuff. Um, shampoo and dishwasher soap. And then two green and one purple. And 
Unfortunately, that means we're on an uneven amount again. Which is annoying. Oh yeah, the cake. That's also an uneven amount. And the me uh, medium roast coffee. Okay. Love potatoes in any form. I, well, I do like mashed potatoes. Uh, yes, but we don't make it a lot. And when we do, it's often out of a package, which is good, but not as good as, of course, freshly made. And it does require to be 50% butter, at least. <laughs> uh, start naming all the potato dishes. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you because the reason we don't eat a lot of potatoes is because I actually, I didn't grow up with potatoes. So this is, a, a, when I would ever stay with my grandmother and grandpa uh, on my mother's side, the general food would always be some kind of meat dish with the gravy. And that's not an American gravy. That's the, the shoe. So the, the baking liquid of the meat usually with a little bit of spices or some water to make it more um then some kind of potato dish generally just boiled potatoes and a veggie that was the standard meal and i think it gave my mother, mother a trauma because she hated potatoes she would not make them she would not eat them well maybe some baked like i said uh, fries sometimes or baked potato but no, not even that. No, she she really... No, I don't think she actually ever cooked me anything potato. Because that was my dad. My dad would bake some potatoes, but not her. No, uh, she was uh, someone who would go up to the neighbors and, well, she talked to them. I mean, just normal, like a normal person. And they were from Pakistan? Yeah, must be. I mean, this is a long time ago, of course. I don't quite re remember them that well. Uh, I just remember, yeah, she passed away. I do remember that. The neighbor, that is, not my mother. Um, but uh, she learned how to cook uh, roti, ro roti chicken. I mean, I know the roti is the pancake, but we do call the dish itself also roti. So it makes it a little, a little bit harder to <laughs> get that right. So I do know how to make that too, but yeah, she was one to cook outside of the Dutch kitchen, basically. The first time I tried to boil potatoes, I um, I burned them badly. Yeah, to my shame. I didn't realize how much water needed. I, I cooked them like I would veggies with just a little bit of water in them. Nowadays, I steam all my veggies. Um, yeah, it was too little water. It boiled dry and it burnt. Along with the pots. It was great. I'm talking, of course, about 20 years ago when I just moved out on my own. <laughs> I, I like my fries quite crispy, yes. It's one of the reasons why there's a couple of places like the, the we have the Fabo, right? And sometimes we treat ourselves and get something by the Fabo. And we, quite, we get quite a lot because it's like dinner. We don't get it as a snack really. And they have fries, but the, it's so 50-50 whether the person standing there can actually, you know, bake fries in the right way that I have stopped ordering them it was so often that they were just too uh, too undercooked you burn potatoes once once yes oh we're talking about worst meals ever made um I tried to make fresh spinach once so I got you know a bag of fresh spinach and I tried to you know cook that 
But so much water came out that at the time that the rest of the dinner was ready, the the spinach was still soup. It was taking like a, a damn hour. So I just left it to cook down a little bit more. And of course, while we were eating dinner, it burned. You know, it was such bad luck. Now, of course, I know that you need to blanch them. And yes, I mean, I learned, I learned. <laughs> Pan drippings. Yes, that's the way we generally do it here. You get an error? Well, officially, Cypher, you're supposed to eat it with the wrap. Unofficially, no one gives a crap. There you go. <laughs> I think it's generally accepted there that you you eat with your right hand. You don't touch your food with your left hand. But of course, we use cutler here. So it's... Yeah, this is the fresh spinach. I do quite like fresh spinach. It's also raw. Just eat it like a salad. Completely charred a loaf of garlic toast it was under a broiler and didn't watch it. all broilers, man. Yeah. Um, our our uh, combi microwave, which is both a microwave and, a, and an oven, hence the combi name. It uh, it broke. Well, I mean that thing was geez more than twenty years old. So um, I I did not blame it, but it broke. So we had another we had another one. So basically the one that broke I once got from my mother. It was a very big one. It was great. It was very expensive at the time. And it lasted a very long time, but okay, it broke. And we had a, of our own, which we had put away. We had a very cheap, small one because that's what we could afford at the time, you know? And <laughs> we're using that now and it heats up the oven, uh, not times by the way, which is super annoying. And so it doesn't tell you when it's ready. It just keeps on going until the timer runs out. Uh, it, it does so with the with the broiler. So it preheats the oven with the broiler on. <laughs> so the, the grill setting, basically. I have had a couple of times where something was not quite done and I just put it back in the oven. Uh, bon papa, yes. And then it started re uh, like preheating again, and it burned my food. And it was super annoying. But of course, that's generally just you know pre-made food. Eat some bread. Um, when you were a kid, you were obsessed with boiled cauliflower. Oh yeah, that's. I, I do like cauliflower, but especially with like a, a cheese on top or cheese sauce, something like that. The half of the contents of the wrap falls out. Yeah. I really don't like limp fries. I'm, I must agree with Rose on this one. Because uh, we have a dish here called a cup salon, which is basically literally translated as a hair salon. It was once created by a snack bar or donor shop however we, we we combine them often so we just call it a snack bar uh that was next to a hair salon and the customer wanted to eat while he was getting his hair cut and they so it was in rotterdam and they created that dish for him it's basically fries donor meat cheese that's i mean it's all hot but it goes in the oven and then they put like a salad and sauce on top once it's done it's really good, but so often the the fries on the bottom are just not crispy enough, or they're going already overcooked and they burn, <laughs> which is not good either. But I have to, I prefer them burnt over to under over undercooked. But that's yeah. It's at least the little burnt pieces you can just remove. If they're all undercooked, it's nah, no good. Oh, I love kibbling. Um, the cipher, the Yumbo, Yumbo, has in the in the freezer like kibbling and uh, lekkerbekje, which is almost the same. Basically, it's just a bigger part of the fish, and it's it's actually quite low carb, funny enough, and it's really good. 
I highly recommend it. So it does, it, what I mean is it, it doesn't have like a gigantic layer of um, batter around it and it comes with a packet of uh, spices. Fried veggies with breadcrumbs and melted butter. Uh, what I usually do with my uh, veggies, I, I don't eat a lot of bread, so I generally don't have breadcrumbs. Maybe that's weird. I need three potatoes, actually. And that's it. Uh, what I usually do is I... Um, uh, this really turned into cooking with Nima, didn't it? <clears throat> So I steam my veggies, like let's say we make broccoli. It also works with cauliflower. Uh, something like Brussels sprouts I generally make with bacon. Because it really needs something salty to cut through the little bitterness of that. But uh, something like broccoli, I will uh, steam it. And then I take some creme fraiche, mix that with pepper and nutmeg generally. I like nutmeg, you know, if that's your taste. Can also leave it out and then uh, uh, grated cheese now you don't use freshly grated cheese you need to be at the, out of a baggie which is generally the opposite of what you, people usually tell you but otherwise it's too watery so you have your almost almost cooked through veggies <clears throat> you put that in an oven safe dish you put that mixture on top and you put it in the oven and it's really really good <laughs> no Throw. There you go. <laughs> Cooking with Nima is a good show. Oh, yeah, no, we don't fry at home either, either Cypher. No, but these are pre... basically pre-fried and then you put them in the oven. Usually a bit longer than the package states. And of course, with a rapicotta sauce. Though, gar though I do like it with garlic sauce too, but you need a little bit of a, a tangy sauce. That's the word I'm looking for, tangy. It's really good. <clears throat> though, yeah, I like to get it at... Uh, at the fish boar. <laughs> we, we actually call them fish farmers, literally translated. Fish boar. And they'll fry it for you fresh. There's one in the on the black market in Beverwijk. But it's it's just called the black market because there's a lot of little stands where people can sell stuff. Um it's not actually illegal stuff, let me clear that up. Uh, they have a stand there that sells freshly cut fries with the skin still on and then freshly cooked uh, kibbling. So the, it's a white fish in a batter with uh, like salt and spices on top after baking. It's really good. But yeah, that's definitely a go-to. <laughs> so, so you're a man of culture too, yes. I understood that reference. No, your memes. Okay, in the meantime, uh, I really opened up the store. Hold on, I forgot again. There we go. Oh, wait, how are we doing on our potatoes? Because we were very low, weren't we? Oh, no, we're okay. We can make that. I can throw one extra in the order. That's fine. I... No, 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 you're correct. You're just a little bit open and I don't know why. Hold on. There, that's better. They do that sometimes, that the box is a little bit open. Okay, we still have a bit of money. I should really... Let me see, how expensive are these... They're all in the freezer, so I can just select on freezer. How expensive would it be? Uh, yeah, so these six. Can I afford that? Yeah. I'm 
there. Because then we've all also caught up with... Actually, let me just put this in the shelves first so it's out of the way. I think we've caught up with the storage then on those products. So that's good. I do need to check up on the sugar probably because all the sugar was gone. I'm watching you. It always starts out sweet with them washing each other and then suddenly someone has teeth in their throat. Not hard, but still. Cats, you know, cats. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> and I d well, actually, I know, not really. I'm not hungry. I just had... Uh, we had some steak today. Very nice, with uh, mushrooms. I do like that a lot. So I'm quite stuffed. You don't eat fish? You mean you don't want to eat fish? Or simply you just had never had it? Um, you never tried Brussels sprouts? Mm. It is, yeah, it is a, a very Dutch thing. Also German, but uh, probably also some other European countries. But they're very cheap here. We, you know, they're they're grown a lot here. The the trick is you need. To, well, let me put it this way: they have a bad reputation because they used to be really bitter. However, over the last couple of decades, they've been bred, or how do you say that? Well, grown. What do you, what do you call that for for veggies? They're not bred. They're. Either way, they've changed in a way that they're no longer near as bitter as they were. So the trick is simply to, you know, prepare them well, basically. Some more potatoes. Oh, that's not going to fit right now. That can wait. Luckily, I was able to put it down. Uh, yeah, no, that's that one. Just checking. Okay, new products have been filled up as well. Crossbreeding. Well, crossbreeding means you're basically combining different plants. Oh, I never boil my Brussels sprouts. I, so what I basically what I do, I, I take some of the the bacon. We, we call it ontbijtspec. It has a little bit more fat in it than what we call bacon. It's the different cuts in different countries. It's a, difficult to explain. Either way, it's a it's a salted pork smoked uh, meat uh, type of dish, and so you cut that into little strips. I usually use scissors. You bake that up until it's uh, nice and brown, so you got all the fat out of it, rendered out. Then you remove the bacon bit, but you leave the fat. Then I put the halved Brussels sprouts in there. You, you, I always remove a little bit of the bottom too, because that's where the most bitter part is. And then I don't bake them. I put a bit of water in there, put the lid on it, and let it steam until it's, you know getting there then i remove the lid then i bake it in the with some salt and pepper in the in the bacon grease and then at the end the bacon bits go back in and you have a you know they do, they need to get a little color on them they're much better if they have a little color on them <laughs> you bought the game yesterday and you're hooked yeah that's uh sorry we're bit, we're currently a little bit distracted with cooking with nima <laughs> we're talking about fish and brussels sprouts at the moment uh yeah, well, tough luck with your complaints. Hey, you are. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, the game. It's just, you know, I like it too because it allows me to, to just yap on with, a, with everyone. While my workers are doing everything that needs to be done. No, I didn't mean genetically modified. Well, no, not genetically modified. They're just, I guess they're crossbred to be, yeah, I guess that's the best fit. 
Though if you say crossbreeding, I generally assume you mean different types of uh, plants, not the same type of plant. Uh, yes, I have played Sons of the Forest, actually. Um, I'm still supposed to play that with Rose sometime. I've just been really busy. You don't- oh, you're allergic to seafood. Wow, that sucks. Also to shellfish? Like, both of them? Once cooked mackerel. I usually buy... Um, a smoked mackerel. I think that's mackerel. Yeah, th but then when I buy it, it's already cleaned, so you don't have all the fish bones, which is really nice. I don't like- I'm not a big fan of fish bones either. The culture is seafood based. Oh, yeah, and then... That sucks. It's hard to avoid. Well, grooming requires an amount of trust, Rose, so that just takes time. And not all cats like it, right? But here they start with grooming and then they go on to wrestle. It's usually... Well, always. It always turns into wrestling. You don't like it? Yeah. The, the thing here is that we have so many types of fish that... But I don't know what you guys have. Here, I would like to tell you to try a different type, but... Because there's a big difference between mackerel, tuna, and salmon. I'm not a big fan of tuna. I like canned tuna. That's the, I don't like raw tuna. Or the... Well, even raw is better than the cooked one. I'm not a big fan of that one. So, Isabel, welcome to the... To the... What, what, what should we call this? Uh, the Supermarket Simulator Addiction Club? But then we start with SS, and I don't think that's a good idea. Not in Europe. Don't do anything with <laughs> SS. Cultivating. I think that's a good word for it, yes. Yeah, I generally steam too, though I often add like a, a, some kind of sauce or topping or... Well, it depends a little bit. Rose eaten by mutants. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> you prefer fish fingers? Fair enough. Then you probably like kibbling too. Kibbling is like a, a better version of fish fingers. Until it's completely broken down. Well, you just removed... Everything that's that's that you might as well just buy a piece of meat then. <laughs> well, that is the best brand cipher. Let's be honest here. Just stay away from the Bargasius, everyone. Oh my God, I had it one time. It was like a frozen fish. It was a good a good brand. Got it from the, the refrigerator, of course. The freezer, of course. It was frozen fish. I just said that. It was disgusting. It was... It had like a, a herb layer on top. It was... I, I didn't eat fish for a year after that. It was that bad. Yeah, where's my exclamation mark? Fish. We're talking about fish, everyone. <laughs> oh, but you're not a fan of fish, but you're allergic to shellfish. There, yeah, which you love. That sucks. I am lucky enough to not really have any allergies. Knock on wood. I think I'm allergic. I used to be allergic to, um, like dye, the food dyes. Uh, jelly beans did me in. Oh my god! As a kid, <laughs> that was bad. But I haven't had that in years. There. I can now we can put that one in. There you go. And one time I had like mini chocolates. Mini bonbons that gave me a horrible migraine. And I was like, was it caused by the food? 
I, tr I tried two. Because they were tiny, so I tried two the next day again. So I immediately tossed them. That was horrible. <laughs> but I've never noticed it since that happening. I don't know what was in it. I do tend to avoid uh, unknown unknown brand chocolates, basically. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're doing well, aren't we? Made some good profit again. Oh, hello. We sold a lot of coffee. I need, I'll need i need to order a box extra, I think. Yep. Yeah, I should keep an eye on s things like that, right? That we go over one box in the shelf. It's not an issue, though, because if I buy two boxes, I just have to buy it the next day again. But now I see it, I can buy an extra box. Uh, no, I stream on Twitch as well, Yar. I just... Uh, it's a bit quieter over there. Oh, no, we got we got some people. Hello, everyone on Twitch. I'm probably streaming uh, a little bit too high bit rate for Twitch. I should look into that. Is it bad quality? Anyone happen to be watching on Twitch? Too quiet. There you go, Rob. Nice, nice fish head. Yes, we're doing a double stream. Uh, but yeah, we eat... Uh, occasionally we'll get like a bunch of fish. We generally eat like two days of that. Let's, let's just go to the next day so we have something to do. Ooh, four. Well, too bad. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so random what's, what causes the complaints that... Okay, we got flour and immediately the potato pops went up. Uh, the craft room is this one, I think. No, is it this one? Oh, no, wait. That w it's this one. Uh, 20. Oh, wait. I lost, I lost my number count. Yeah, 20 cents. There you go. And the potato pops is over here. Above 10 is 15 cents. Oh, okay, so that's just 10 cents up. There you go. Well, this is all the new products, so they're they're well stocked already. Hey, hot dog. Um, chocolates are always checking what oil they're made of. So here, I do, I don't. Oh, I'm not entirely sure, but I think if it's not made with cacao butter, it's not allowed to be called chocolate. Because then it's like, um, I think we have, one thing we have is like a fantasy cacao. And that's basically chocolate that has too low level of cacao in it. <laughs> they had to, they had to change that by law. Thanks, Hotbox. Looks good, Rob. Okay, that's good to know. I'll have to look that up, Fusio. But I don't think it's allowed. I think that there's very strict rules about what's uh, allowed to be called chocolate here. Uh, with the exception of white chocolate, but there's rules there, of course, too. The quality is better on Twitch, really. Interesting, Jill. Because the Twitch is the one complaining about me streaming at a too high bitrate for Twitch. Because I have very good internet, so I stream at a very high bit rate. Uh, a few chocolate producers now don't use palm oil anymore. Do you mean that very few... Now I'm curious. Hold on. Okay. Let's go to this store. Uh, products... I don't know where we're going. Where are the chocolates? Here, candy. Okay, let's use their own brand. Um, here, normal milk chocolate. Their their house brand. Certified cacao from the Rainforest Alliance. 
uh, started by Tony's Chocoloni. Yeah, that's Tony's is a big thing here. Okay, let me see. It's uh, sugar, cacao butter, full milk powder, cacao mass, milk fat, and um, something to keep it all together. So yeah, Ectlin E322 and natural vanilla aroma. So no, no oil in there. Uh, lint? I'm assuming the oil is mostly like in the lower, lower quality chocolates, maybe. Cacao butter, lactose, but that's because it's milk chocolate. Let's go back to the stream. But uh, yeah, I don't think we have palm oil here in chocolate generally. At least not when it's called chocolate. I know hot bog. I'm, I'm Dutch from the Netherlands. Yes, it's very strict here. <laughs> Shia butter. So I don't think we put that in food, right? Am I mistaken? I thought that was just for your hair and stuff. Yeah, but when you add palm oil, it's um, it's just not allowed to be called chocolate, I don't think. That I can look up. I'm, I'm really curious. For That'll just take a minute. Uh, Google me. Um, I'm just going to search in Dutch. Hold on. Need to don't type chocolate when you're searching in Dutch. Um... It makes it so the chocolate doesn't melt. Oh, that's a whole list of what doesn't contain palm oil. Palm oil. Okay. Law. The EU forbids products like palm oil, cacao, and coffee that are linked to deforestation. Okay, that's interesting. That's not what I'm looking at. <laughs> okay, now th then I'm getting into the real law. Okay, never mind. And I'm just getting the news now on that. I, I thought maybe I could find it, like there being a rule about that, but I can't find it. All right, what are we doing? Uh, the freezer's looking good. Uh, just for the fun of it, let's do the cleaning first. Okay, we need all the dishwasher tablets. Or did I already order something? Because we've been yapping a lot. Better keep an eye on that. I need the cleaner and the... Uh... Bleach, right. Looking good. One of each toilet paper should do. Okay, then we can do the fridge. Uh, Edgar is... Uh, well, it's his birthday, by the way. But uh, he's off on a trip. He'll be away this week. Or this couple of days. Oh, wait, it's full. Okay, salmon is there, so we need the beer. It was the yellow one, right? Yes. Oh, I had to turn my heater down. It's actually getting warm here now. Uh, yeah, that has a box. Uh, milk. Milk and white water. <laughs> Gone. 
He's away. <clears throat> you thought I was British? Oh, darling. How can I be offended about that? <laughs> you can set up a nice British accent and go. Wow, we, we barely need anything except for Parmesan. Very good. Means we can build up the money again a bit. Yeah, let me get these huge boxes here. Or we order more. Hey, Malaki. Uh, can you see the new game earlier? Well, you can if you buy it. I'm assuming you're talking about the beach sim. Um... Actually, now that you mention it, since we did get the upgrade and I do have plans tomorrow, I'm going to set the next stream a little bit earlier. I usually don't switch around like that, but I was worried about getting the update, so I didn't want to end this one too early. There, so that's going to be in an hour. But yeah, I do want to finish this, uh, this stream, of course. I do hope you all come watch that with me. I just uh, just got the key for it. It looks good fun. Like the trailer has uh, one of your guests being eaten by a shark. I thought that was hilarious. I had to. Ha I just had to have the game. It's called uh, Beach Simulator 2024. A beach club simulator. Sorry, not beach simulator. Beach club simulator 2024. Hey, Amy. Hey, cowgirl. Hello, Queen. Miss anyone else? Uh, but yeah, I am gonna... Uh, it's your birthday too, Queen. Well, happy birthday. Sorry, I sometimes read the wrong way around. <laughs> the chat can go pretty fast sometimes. There you go. Alright, let's get this in. Then my restockers can get to work. As needed. There you go. And I got the Parmesan cheese in. Yes, that means we're at the shelf section again. Can I change the time around? Well, considering I'm already streaming this uh no <laughs> I, I can't switch them around when i'm already doing this one how do i know sim you mean sir sim a lot um oh boy well this has to be because a long long time ago we were all watching raptor and that's basically how we all met I don't think Sir Simulat was in Rudy's Discord at the time. Well, basically, he was then streaming too, started watching, watching that too, started chatting, you know, joined his Discord, became a moderator. Hopefully he has some time pretty soon to uh, play a game again together. But yeah, he's a full-time job and, and kids and very busy. Well, it's going to be uh, 48 minutes now until the next one. You're <laughs> early for tomorrow. Oh my goodness. He's still rude, yeah. It, I'm, I'm a bit, yeah. It just went weirdly. It's fine. There's no hard feelings whatsoever. It just ended weirdly. Let's order all the booze, just, just, as we can. 
No, because we, because we need it, of course. Um, right, we needed one extra of that coffee, didn't we? Because the, the whole shelf was empty. That's a good one to fill up this order. There you go. Okay, we got that one <clears throat> done. And then we need the bread. Hold on. <laughs> Would Edgar gone have some chance to catch sheep? Uh, you can try. <laughs> no, nah, it was also just the, some of the peeps he uh, he worked with. But no, there's there's nothing going on. Uh, oh wait, that's the, the fridge section. I'm looking at the wrong side. We need this one. We need honey cereal and white rice. No, Raptor's how I got my start. I don't know if any of those subscribers are still here other than like Rob and Edgar. Handy maybe, but... Uh, let me see. Pepper and hot sauce. Yes. They did get me started. So there you go. Uh, all the flowers and some mashed potatoes. And then we're done for today. With ordering at least. Potatoes. Um, I have two spots left in this order. Something we could use. Extra. Sure, let's uh, throw in uh, a little bread and some peanut butter. Why not? There. Order full. All right, let's go. Uh, I think uh, Rob has more sheep than Edgar, doesn't he? Cold's fault. Oh yeah, that's that's fair. I might have actually yeah, got to know him through Colt, yeah. Oh yeah, Nightmare is still here. Yeah, you're right. Did you get but I don't know exactly who got to your true uh, true raptor back then and who didn't. <laughs> wow. Stealing Stealing their sheep rose. Uh, yeah, it's, it's weird how it goes the wrong way around, but one is Rob indeed. Ah, Ed Edgar's closing in on you, Rob. Oh my. <laughs> Not on Twitch, <laughs> fair enough. Um, Rose, you okay? <laughs> I think your phone is having a stroke there, darling. <laughs> no <matter where> <laughs> oh, the duel failed. That's weird. Oh, Thurston is building his own game. Probably got back to that one sometime. Just been waiting on some more gameplay function. Does that make sense? Is <laughs> that another language? It does look like it, doesn't it? Hey, Patrick. I think he means King Rob. <laughs> yeah, Auntie, of course. Sorry, Auntie. Yeah, I wasn't really thinking about naming everyone. I was just naming a couple of examples. But Auntie, of course, yes. Oop. 
Here's our coffee. Should immediately get another. Yeah, there he comes. All uh, right, I keep forgetting to open the store while I'm stalking. Sorry about that. Milk. <laughs> well, I don't really... I don't watch a lot of people anymore. Simply because I don't have time to watch a lot of streams. Yes, Gordon. Oops. Sorry, I just have to turn my heater down a bit further. Still uh, turned on too soon. The cheetah is still on 240 hours, but I haven't seen him in uh, in a while. Gordon's catching up though. Donald haven't seen him in a while either. Rye haven't seen him either. Sweet. No, I think it's been a while. Yeah, but that's how it goes, right? People watch you a while, and then you know interests change, and that's how it goes. And a couple of people will stick around for a long time. It's all good. They might even still watch, but maybe not being able to catch lives. That's also an option. But I don't know if that counts for the hours, actually. Are those just live stream hours or also video hours? Anyone know? Curious. Like vlogs and such. Oh, that works, Larry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mel Melted certainly chatted. You know, you're not a fan of watching Let's Play. Uh, it depends on me if I really like the game. But one, I often play the games that interest me myself. And two, I avoid watching other people play the games that I want to play because I like to play in my own way and you know spoiler alerts and such there's a storyline I like to have some surprises okay let's just uh, you go over there right in his in his face that's rice that's also rice it's more coffee and then this goes over no it's tea There, all in. Okay, we still got... Well, we actually have three fridges right here. I really... Uh, they were all full at one point. And I actually have... If I put the fish here, I could have one fridge empty too, but... We're getting the license for more fridge items pretty soon, so I'm going to leave it like it is right now. That one fridge is not going to get me broke anytime soon. Speaking of broke. Okay, so the, I think the freezers cost me like 10 bucks each. Electricity wise. Five, um, seven, eleven, fifteen fridges. 
Such a hop. Yeah, okay. No, because how much is the electricity of the lights then? I don't think it's 10 bucks a pop, is it? Is the freezer more expensive than the fridge? And it could be, I don't know. I don't know how much the lights are, so I can't calculate it. Hold on. I'm there, now I can see what's going on. We're on 134 likes. Just a couple more to 150. Would be nice if we could make that tonight. Would be absolutely amazing and help me out a lot. I, I do think we need a bigger storage room, Isabel. Because, I, I mean, I don't know. Obviously, these, these boxes could just stand in the corner or outside. They're empty boxes. I could actually toss a few probably, but... Oh. I wish the light was in here. It would be much easier. Um, yeah, this is just pretty much full. We could put two here, I think. I think I could add four more easily. With effort, we could maybe fit in a couple more, like six total. But look how full it already is, and I have a lot more licenses to go. And nothing has a lot of space, right? Most items just have one slot on the rack. Oh yeah, that's fair, Rose. It, it can get frustrating when someone's doing something you think, you know, you, you just want to shout at them, it's right there. <laughs> I sometimes come across a streamer who plays like very different games than I do. Um, I thought, God, what's his name? He, he's, uh, I, I came across him because the game attracted my attention. And now I've been watching more of his streams, but oh, we're out of two now. Um, I N S M? No, it's Inseam. I think it actually might be his name. I don't know, but he's actually Dutch, which also caught my attention. He also streams in English, but he does a lot of uh, horror observation games. And that was uh, that was fun. Add more chicken. Uh, we could, but it's not really necessary, and I do think we're going to need the space soon. Let me check that. No, this is all cheese, right? Yeah, that's all fridge stuff. No, I don't think we have anything. Yeah, let's do that. That works. Well, I don't have any chicken right now, but we can do that next time then. So many gamers frustrate you how to play, yeah. Yeah, it is that, uh, first Fosmo, yes. But, um, I don't play horror games because I get, uh, I don't really get scared, I get stressed because I'm expecting an attack. Um, but those observation games are a lot of fun, <laughs> I have to say. Uh, what's it called again? You have a couple, uh, different ones what uh, something with an eight there's like this um this metro station you just have a hallway with tiles and you walk through it and you need to pay attention what it looks like because the next time you go through it there might be something different and you need to as soon as you see something some anomaly it could be scary anomaly it could be very very hard to see and you need to turn around and go the other way and if you do that right Eight times you can get to the exit, basically. Yeah, frightened Nima to death, absolutely. Well, I did like Phasmophobia, but that's multiplayer, and that's very different. 
We just need 10 more likes, everyone, to get to 150 tonight. Hey, Jean, welcome back. Yeah, I don't know if I would be good at playing them, but they're fun to watch. Oh, the e Rose, he recently played a game that he was like, oh, I'm probably not going to make a video on this. And um, uh, let's see what it is. Like, he just got a little indie game. And that game was so scary that he literally almost, fl he almost flew out of his chair from a jump scare. Because he was just looking at something. He turns around and there's this monster right next to him. And it's, it's hilarious to watch. But I don't know if I could play it myself. I don't do well with horror games. Exit A, thank you, that's it. I knew it had an 8 in it. There's also uh, Section 13, I think it's called. Th that one has two versions now. That looks really cool. Move one. Well, no, I don't need to tag the space. It doesn't matter. Oh, to, to have them stored. Yeah, but I can just buy an extra box and do it myself. Alright, guys, we're ready. No. They're all busy. Well, tough shit. Okay, let's go. <laughs> See, now we only have one complaint. 58 customers. I think that's pretty much the highest what I've had so far. Oh, I got that one right on time. Hold on. I do dislike it when they do like four items in a day. Okay, we got water. Sushi. Large veal, I'm just writing it down in short form. Ketchup, okay. Let's do that real quick. Uh, which one is the Alata? I don't actually know. Probably this one, then. Yes, uh, let me see because that's 20 cents. No, let's add a dot. Thank you. <laughs> Did I do that right? Yes. Here's the sushi. Oh, that dropped a lot. Seventeen twenty, and the last one is the ketchup. Wow, that one dropped a lot too. And I'm back. Mortuary existence that that's one I really debated about whether to play because on the one hand it's a sim on the other hand it's it's terrifying If I, for me I had a bit of the opposite thing Gordon Where they made so many changes over time because obviously I wasn't able to play it a lot And the game would be like it would be a completely different game I'm just letting them work while I take a drink here mm have a drink yeah it is exit yeah uh so yeah i got a little bit annoyed that i've learned the game and then they changed it all around again changed the rules changed the ghost and i would have to learn it all over again and after a couple of times i just was done with it a bit I do play it sometimes but usually with mike who who plays it a lot therefore knows exactly what's going on Does it? Is that from Metal Gear? I wouldn't know. No, I haven't played the observation games, but I did like watching it because then it's not so scary. But, uh, okay, let me do a quick order. Pay the bills. Let me at least get the chicken in so that we. Because you're right, we might as well just fill it up. One, two, three, four, I think. Three for there, one for the... Wait, if we're out, how many? No, four is good. 
How's our tuna doing? Mm. No, we don't need an extra box of that. It's I. I know we don't have any tuna. That's a small sushi, right? Just trying to fill up the order. Oh yeah, a uh, keg and bleach. Those are the items we can't order two of. That's what I was checking. There you go. And we're at 145 likes. Come on, five more. We can do it before the end. Oh, I accidentally filled that one. That doesn't matter. All the chicken. Uh, Steam is also great, Larry, because there's a lot of free games on there. Now, you have to be careful, of course. A lot of free games will have... Um, mini transactions and things like that but there are some good ones it's also the reason why i have epic they give away free games every thursday and sometimes there's pretty good games there i mean there's also a lot of just you know oh nope i made the mistake damn it hold on you there you there remove fixed it Also, if you ever win a game here, you need Steam to be able to unlock it. Three more likes to 150. But in the meantime, we are going to wrap it up here. I'm going to be playing a completely new game after this in just about 25 minutes. It's called Beach Club Simulator. They just gave me a key. It just unlocked uh, about three hours ago. So it just got out. Oh, I have Steam, Epic, and GOG. GOG. I call it GOG. I don't know if you have, how you're supposed to pronounce it. Because they all do free games and giveaways. And sometimes they have good deals, you know. Um, GOG also has uh, older games. Team Hospital, for example, they have that. I bought that there. <laughs> so yes, I have them all. Uh, I also have, <laughs> I also have, like the the Xbox and the the Ubisoft, but that's part of the job, you know. Oh, for the PC then. Yeah, Steam is very good for deals, absolutely, and also free games. There are some good ones. But oh, one more like, one hundred fifty, one more. But everyone, I'm going to wish you, uh, well, not a good night, because I'll be back in 25 minutes. That, uh... Oh, you can see the new products. Yeah, sure. They're all right here. So we got a new ice cream. We got the veggie mix. This is easier to see. Yeah. So this is the vanilla ice cream, but it's vanilla and strawberry. Veggie mix, the green beans, and then the, the other ice cream and potatoes. That's six, right? No, that's five. Oh, sorry. Pizza. So creamy, Big Tony. <laughs> well, I hope you all come with me to the new game I'll be playing next. It's just a, a small indie game, but it, uh, it looks very funny. Hey, we reached 150. Very nice. Thank you all for the awesome support. Don't go anywhere. Twitch, of course, can hang around for YouTube. I'll, I'll link it, but it should... Uh, it should take you all with me. Open this. Hold on, it's loading. Mm. 
with, of course, a suitable beach Freya. Hey, Debra. You'll be there if you're awake. Perfect. Now, let's go check out that new game in just a bit. I'll see you all in 20 minutes. You got 20 minutes, Rose. I'll see you there. <laughs> and then we're going to build a whole beach club on the beach and uh, try to make sure our customers don't get eaten by sharks. It's great. So I'll see you all then. Thank you very much for watching. I won't be streaming on Tuesday or Wednesday, very likely, unless like I get a, a huge amount of energy, but I doubt it after I've been gone all day. So I'll probably see you all again Thursday then, if you're not coming with me to the next stream. See you in a bit.